was wonderful. Um, one of the reasons why I was interested in taking the courses is because I knew that it was taught by Spaniard, because one was an imminent master of wine, uh, and now officially um, Spain's first master of wine. So I knew that the information would be authoritative. Excellent course. I think and it's a it, tremendous we, uh, initiative uh, what Pancho is doing uh, to bring Spanish education you know, here to the United States. Um, it was a tremendous amount of subject matter in a small period of time, but he managed to successfully cover the entire country, which is an enormous undertaking. And for me, being a Spanish wine professional, um, fill in some holes of tremendous amount of new regions and new varieties and new things happening in the country in the last five years. So for me, in that regard, it was very, very useful. Jerez is probably one of the most misunderstood, mistreated wines in this country. A lot of educators have just, it's been too challenging of a task, so they're not including them in their courses anymore. And the fact that he included such a strong segment on Jerez and invited Cesar Salaña to be here um, was really also very, very noteworthy. Hello, I'm Robin Kelly O'Connor, and this course, I had the great experience of sitting in. Uh, I really think that the trade should get behind and support this course because it not only is Pancho Campo, Master of Wine, a great, great educator, but he's really giving the fundamentals, fundamentals of Spain, Spanish culture, Spanish wine, Spanish way of life that I think the Americans really need, and they need this education. And I am just so happy to have sat through this two and a half day. And I think a, a tasting like tonight will really demonstrate virtually and in the, in, the, in the realm of taste how great and how world-class the Spanish wines really are. Well, I thought it was quite fantastic. I think what is something that we've needed to have in this country for a long time, a program dedicated to, to teaching people about Spain and the great variety of wines and regions. And it can be quite confusing. And I think Pancho very, very, um, with great talent, summed it all up and made it, I think, clarify doubts that people might have had. I, I think it's a daunting task to talk about 68 DOs or 74 DOs or whatever the number is on any given day, but um, I think he zeroed in on the regions that are most important in the wine trade here in the U.S. Uh, I think he also, you know, with his MW frame of reference, was able to give some very concise sort of tasting notes to help people hang on to what am I supposed to taste when I'm tasting a garnacha or what am I supposed to taste when I'm um, tasting an albariño or a verdejo and, and you know judging by, by the response here I think, it, I think it was very well received and all I can say is enhorabuena.